There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, picture corner, and other stuff too. All right, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the assembly of the frame. All right, uh, going to get this build started. I'm going to be using this tool that I have for the 3030. Found it on Thingiverse, and I'll put it in the description. I'm going to be taking the vertical rail, which is this long piece here. There's four of them. And then I'm going to be connecting the front and sides. Um, so I did some measurements, and the front is the slightly longer piece. Something that I'm using to help me figure out where the parts go is Fusion 360, as you can see here. Um, you can, there's a measurement tool that allows you to kind of click and measure things pretty easily. So um, that kind of gives you an idea of like, you know, which, which pieces you need. So it's very helpful. But um, I'm going to be doing, so as you can see here in the design as well, these are slightly longer. So these are the 420 pieces and there are four of those top and bottom. And then the 410 pieces, there's six of those and those are the sides. All right, so what you see here is the um, extrusion in this jig. I did end up having to trim a little bit off of here, maybe about five millimeters as well as here so I could fit the bracket in. Here is the bracket, and I've got the T-nuts threaded on M10 uh, screws. So now I'm basically gonna put the corner bracket in the corner and tighten it up, and I'll be repeating that for all four sides. Got the corner bracket seated in the first corner now, do not have it tightened yet. One thing that I did do is I took my calipers and I double checked the distance um, right here, from here to here. Uh, you wanna make sure that's 10 millimeters. It should be, but I just double checked. So again, this is only for the bottom part of the extrusion. Something else I'm gonna mention is that I don't have these pieces here. Um, instead, I'm using the thicker brackets. So I've got plenty of those. I think that was just what was in my kit. Yours may be different and you may need to use those little angle bracket pieces. I would recommend holding down with one hand while you're tightening the screw just to make sure it stays nice and flush. All right, I've got the two sides together now and basically just kind of you want to touch them and check them, make sure they're not popping around. You don't hear any noise. This side's good. This one, a little bit there, but you can easily bend that out and adjust it and then retighten. So up to this point I've done kind of the sides here and here and now I'm going to do the smaller pieces which are the, the front and the back and then it's this piece and this piece as well. This part make sure that it's very flush right here and a little off. But you want it just flush with the edge and it probably just matters mostly that you're consistent. And then the other thing is, is make sure this piece here, this piece of aluminum is all the way up against the edge. Otherwise it's gonna be, you're gonna have problems. And I noticed this piece likes to jog away. And now I've got the frame assembled. You can see it's nice and level. Um, when you tap the corners, you shouldn't have anything popping. I also marked the um, front of the uh, frame. So, cause I kept finding myself forgetting where it was and it's only a 10 millimeter difference. So I recommend doing that. Um, next I'm going to be putting on uh, the top part. So this part here, this part here first, and then the side, top sides. Okay, um, I did decide to use these little angle brackets um, or L brackets because they are referenced in the, the picture in the bottom. And I think there um, there's some parts that actually screw into them. So I will be putting those in. I don't. I only have four of them, so uh, I'm just going to use them on the top. And I think I'm just going to stick with regular brackets on the bottom. I don't think it really matters, to be honest, but I definitely can't use um, these corner brackets up here everywhere just because of these other parts, especially in the back here. Brackets can really only go in one way. Um, you can see on this side, it's got a little bit of a gap, and then this slides into the T-channel. Um, same here, and then what I'm going to do is take this piece and then drop it into here and then kind of tighten it up. Once you're done, you should be nice and flush with no gaps, and uh, you shouldn't have any rock either. I think I got it pretty good. The piece is on. As you can see, it's uh, pretty level. 
I kind of question how the accuracy of that little level, but um, it's such a small one. But it looks good. Um, still no wobble or anything after putting those arms on. If there was, I would just start kind of loosening at the bottom and trying to make sure it's square. Uh, I'm getting ready to do this piece and this piece. And you can see there's corner brackets there, 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 and there. So I should be fine doing those. And luckily I have plenty of those left. So, and when I get down to the, the piece below, I'm, it looks like they've just got it bolted in with the corner brackets on the bottom. As I put the, um, the top side on, I'm gonna, you know, you can see I've got it back up on the table. So it's a little bit easier to work on the corner pieces up here. So I'm just gonna take my one of my corner pieces and then I'm gonna um, pre-thread it with the M10 and the, or the M5 10 millimeter and the T-nut. And then I'm gonna just kind of drop it right here in, the, in both corners and tighten it up. The thing that I'm gonna be using here too are these M5 washers. I think these brackets are really designed for M6 but um, I did not get M6 with my kit, so I'm gonna use M5, which I think is uh, no problem as long as you use the washers. Some, you know, you can see that I actually was able to fit M10 or M5s in there just fine without the washers, but sometimes the tolerances on, on these aren't so great. And um, like this one, you can see it kind of gets bigger down here. So um, I'm just gonna use the washers to be safe. <laughs> And I actually like adding the washers on there because it gives you a little more clamping power too. So they're gonna stay nice and tight. And I'm just gonna repeat and add the final top uh, side piece here and then I'll be done with the top. Checking level and finishing things on the floor just because my table isn't the flattest. So everything's good. You can tap the corner, nothing's jumping around. So I just wanna check that. Check that everything is nice and square. Um, and then this just finished. So now I've got my tool, and I'll be able to use that uh, to help position the next two side pieces. So now I'm going to lay the spacer right in between here, and then um, put the brackets on the corners. The corner bracket is going to go underneath like that, so you should be able to get that on pretty easily with the spacer. Alright, so at this point I've got the sides completed, and now the main uh, cube is done.